Nation. Jeff Michelle here on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Jameis Winston could be the number one pick in the NFL draft. He could go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, so I knew. There was absolutely one person I needed to talk to, so I put up the bat signal, and yes, Gene Deckerhoff has responded, the voice of both the Seminoles and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Gene, let me have it. Do you think Jameis Winston will be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer? Well, during Pro Day here a couple of weeks ago, the uh, Tampa Bay media were in full force. I think every television station was represented, a couple of radio stations. Obviously, the two major newspapers in the uh, middle part of the state were here, the Tampa Bay Times and the Tampa Tribune. And uh, to, a, to a man, every reporter covering that Pro Day told me that Jameis is the man that will be picked uh, in Chicago with the number one pick in the NFL draft. They're in the business of building a franchise, and Jason Light will make that decision along with head coach Lovey Smith. Will it be Jameis Winston? Right now, I'd say the odds are very good it will be. Now, this reminds me, it's been a couple of decades since one of those North Florida teams, Jacksonville and Tampa Bay, have taken a seminal in the first round. You have to go back to the mid-90s. Warwick Dunn, Derek Brooks both, and I, they, they both turned out pretty well for the Bucks. I would say so. That 95 draft was probably a home run hit by the Buccaneers. Sam Weich was our coach that year. They took a gamble uh, after a lot of media reports about Warren Sapp having some problems. He went in the middle part of the first round. The very last pick the Buccaneers had, it was a trade from Dallas, and they, uh, they, they tabbed a guy that all the media said was too small to play linebacker in the National Football League. That was Derek Brooks from Florida State University. And, hey, by the way, those two were enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame over the last two years. I'd say an outstanding draft. Absolutely. So, Gene, I had this thought. It's the first game Jameis Winston is the quarterback for the Buccaneers. He drops back to pass. He throws, completes in the end zone, and I'm imagining this. Is it possible, accidentally, you would say, touchdown FSU instead of touchdown Buccaneers just out of habit? Jeff, that could happen. I, uh, I, I try to try to always recognize the environment that I'm in, and it's a knock on wood. Occasionally, Florida State comes out on a Bucks broadcast, and occasionally, uh, fire them cannons may come out on a Florida State broadcast, but uh, I try my best not to do that. Whichever player is drafted, I'm thinking quarterback all the way, okay? Whichever quarterback is drafted, you got two huge targets to throw to in Vincent Jackson and Mike Evans. And uh, remember, Jameis Winston's numbers in his, his – freshman year were a lot better than they were in his sophomore year and the reason why he had a big guy by the name of Kelvin Benjamin a first round draft pick by Carolina two years ago that uh, was his go-to guy and uh, that combination clicked to, to produce the most points ever in a college football season the Florida State Seminoles on that record so he's gonna have two big guys that are a little taller believe it or not than Kelvin Benjamin to throw to if Jameis is the man. Gene, I appreciate it. We will find out April 30th if Jameis, if you'll be calling his name every Sunday now for the Buccaneers. Great talking to you. Hey, Jeff, the most frequently asked question is Jameis Winston going to be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer? And all I can say is we'll find out on April 30th. Hey, good talking to you about Florida State football. Absolutely. You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.